check out our venue for the show in Hickey. So, we just walked up the hill to make it to, I think it's a temple or it's a, the Buddhist meeting house, I don't know what they call it, for our show. It's all uphill. It's absolutely knackering. How are we now going to do a show? And the worrying thing is, is the villagers are already gathered waiting outside and we're not even there yet. And we've got to get over this hill and this stream. That's where we've come from. He's only bringing up the rear. I think we've lost Ben, but hey. It's like Everest, it's the final ascent to the venue. It's 20 minutes before the show. We've just found the local temple that we're performing in. Smaller than yesterday, with about 80 people in it drinking tea, getting very excited about what we're going to do. We need to set up quite urgently. But we've just discovered that they're going to finish their tea and then they're going to make a prayer to the local god, which is a stick covered in ribbons in there. And then they're going to come out in a procession, possibly involving horses, I'm not 100% sure, and go over there somewhere. At which point we'll quickly set up. <laughs> And this is a representation of the local god, I believe. So Kaku, are you going to give us an interview? No, oh, for some time. Wait for a beautiful moment. Right now I'm very tired, I'm in World Highest Village. So we have just been invited for tea. Thank you. As you can see, the tea is going down rather well. Here you can see the young drunken riders of Hikim village. Someone going, someone going to be falling halfway and they will not be coming back. They're off. <laughs> so finally, I think we're able to get some of our stuff in. Although I think the room might be full of people. <laughs> this, there's people in. <laughs> still people in the way. Uh, Twenty past six. We've got about forty minutes of light left. So, right now we are hustling and rustling. Everyone's getting inside there. We're about to do a show, and it's a very cramped space. And I'm pretty sure there's Yapu in the corner. Right, let's go see the Yapu is. So, everybody who's coming to see the show has been asked to bring lamps, as far as I'm aware, which would be very handy. Look! It's Poo! Oh, and that is the poo that she's referring to. So, this is the smallest venue that we've had so far. This is going to be very entertaining. We have very drunken people in here as well, as well as families and children. So, let's hope there isn't a punch up. Also, Ollie is taking over from Ben because Ben is unwell, so it's his first time. And it's complete chaos. It can only go well. And the show's over. And everybody seemed to really enjoy it. That was absolutely fantastic. All the women and gen gents and children, right? Uh, you are sure. Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All you right. very much. You like like and women and boy and children, like everyone. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, everyone enjoyed it. I hope. I hope they did. Many people are having lots of chung, yeah. lots of barley. Yeah. Everybody is speaking English while drinking chung. <laughs> so 
So here we are, trekking out of Hickim, and our next destination is the village of Comic, which is not that far away, it's only about an hour and a half, but it's uphill. Let's see how we do. So we're just passing the venue from last night. It's a much sunnier, brighter day today. Jules, I have a strange suspicion you might be going the wrong way. <laughs> the Outpack Theatre Project leave Hickim. Could have lost one at an early stage. <laughs> 